Hi guys, welcome back. Sarah and welcome to my what I got my kids for Christmas video if you've never seen me before like I said my name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you're here I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year I also have a bunch of other lifestyle mommy plus size fashion beauty home decor all that type of stuff here on my channel I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join our little family and if you haven't already don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I also have a TikTok, and all of the information will be down in the description box below but on to bigger and better and more exciting things this is my what I got my kids for Christmas video and this is the most awaited video on my channel I get the most comments messages DMs requests for this video and normally you guys start messaging and email me and commenting in August and it is my absolute favorite video to film and I know it's the very favorite one for you guys to watch and I can't wait to share with you what I got my girls this year like I said if you've never seen me before I have two daughters my oldest is olive and she just turned seven this month november and my youngest is eleanor and she turns five in march um all of their stuff kind of corresponds together and then it kind of separates and differentiates into their own interests but there's a lot of stuff that they both like because they're really similar in interest and in age groups so you'll kind of see some crossovers but then definitely definitely different special interests so I'm really excited this year I feel like now that they're getting older they have very specific things especially Olive and it's been really fun to shop for her this year a little bit challenging but still really really fun and uh, yeah so without further ado let's get started in this video I normally um, I feel like show you guys what I got my kids for Christmas in December so I feel like I'm starting a little bit earlier this year but I feel like a lot of people are starting earlier this year and shopping earlier and trying to get their list taken care of most of the sales have already started they've already started in October people are just ready for Christmas and ready to get everybody on their list taken care of and I hope I give you some good ideas and examples for these things most of these things are pretty easily accessible either in store or fast shipping online I know shipping is kind of back and forth right now and I know it's kind of taking longer in some places and really fast in other places and just kind of depends uh, but I hope I'm giving you enough time to kind of shop all of these things without any worry or fear that you won't get them in time so without further ado I'm gonna start with Eleanor who like I said is about to be five um, I just want to quickly say that I'm not quite sure who has more or less or if they have the exact same amount I really didn't do that this year I tried to focus on what they really wanted and make it as even as possible But I wasn't like this kid has 18 gifts So this kid has to have 18 gifts and all that type of stuff They're still so little they honestly don't really notice it and it's just they're all super excited And I didn't want to just buy stuff to buy stuff So I try to do as equal as possible and I tried to kind of tone myself down a little bit this year Which I know is not what you guys want to hear you guys like when I go really big and this is still quite a lot But I feel like I did tone myself down a little bit this year I just didn't want to buy stuff like I said just to buy stuff to take up space to be wasteful I tried to only buy things that they really wanted and asked for and or things that I thought were perfect special interest items so I hope I still give you good ideas and you still really enjoy this, but I will say that I feel like I did tone it down a little bit more this year. But you're the judge. You tell me if you feel like this is on par with all my usual years or if you feel like it's a bit more toned down, a little bit, a little bit calmer. Um, so without further ado, let's get started with Eleanor. So first things first, we are going to go into pajamas, which I know is not the most exciting thing, but we stock up on pajamas this year, and I know everyone normally gives pajamas, so just for some ideas. Um, these, This was a little set from Kohl's. They've been having like a month-long Black Friday sale, so I found this cute like tie-dye um, little set with black hearts on them. This is just like a top and then pants. And then my mom picked this one up for Eleanor at the Disney store. Eleanor loves Luca. And I know she's going to be so excited for this one. It's really, really cute. Eleanor loves Disney. She's a big Disney kid. But she prefers the more like Pixar type of Disney movies. She likes the Disney princess ones a lot. But I think she prefers more like Luca and Wreck-It Ralph and Toy Story and Up and all of those films versus like Frozen. Um, she went through a Frozen phase. Don't get me wrong. But she's always loved more of the like... I don't know. I don't know how to... The Pixar films, I guess I would say. I don't know. Anyway, she loves Luca. 
I was the biggest fan. I thought it was a little boring in my opinion, but I know she's going to be loving it. Um, and then my mom also picked up these adorable little Rudolph jammies. They're way too big, but she'll grow into them. Um, and they're just this a really adorable soft flannel lace type of Christmas nightgown, which will look adorable on Christmas morning. These are from Target. All right, enough of the jammies. Let's get into the good stuff, which I know you're most excited for. All right, first things first is this Zombies 2 set of Addison and Zed. Both of my girls are obsessed with the Zombies movies on Disney. They love them. They're really, really cute. I definitely recommend watching them with your little one. Um, and like a little kid girl, you know, like elementary school age. Um, they both absolutely love them. They're super cute movies. And Eleanor has been asking for this set for months now. She's going to be so excited to get it. This is actually a gift from my mom. Um, and the girls are very, very, very big on articulated dolls. They do not want dolls that are not fully articulated. Um, and these both happen to be articulated. And this is just adorable movie and set. They're excited for the third one that's coming out, I think, in February. She'll be just super super pumped. She was Addison for Halloween and I know she's gonna love it So this is her first little set. She is a doll kid like she asked same thing with Olive like they are big into dolls Those are the toys that they ask for the most that they enjoy playing with the most and that's how I was when I was a kid I loved my Barbies and dolls and they are just like me. So she asked for them and then she also asked for this I was so close to making it out without having to get any sort of LOL stuff this year. Um, and, but you know, it happens. And she was really wanting this one. So if you remember last year, Eleanor asked for one of these OMG remix dolls. She asked for Pop BB and loved her. She's super cute. She's like an 80s version. I love her. Um, and this one is Kitty K. She's kind of like an Ariana Grande doll to me. Um, and Eleanor liked her a lot last year as well and has been asking about her since. Um, and I wasn't going to get any of them for her just because I was just like over the LOL thing and I felt like we just had other asks that she wanted more. But I found her on sale for like 10 bucks or something at Target recently. They ha they've been having really, really big sales on LOL stuff this year and so I was like, mine as well. Um, and so I got her Kitty K. She's really cute. I know she's gonna love her. The only thing that I really dislike about these is probably why I'm like making a big fuss is they're such a pain to wrap. Like this, it's such a cool thing. I love the boxing and packaging, but wrapping these are a nightmare. And kids, I like, I like to wrap presents for Christmas. I feel like it's just way more fun than giving them stuff in bags. And although I could put this in like an Amazon box and stuff like that and wrap that up, it's just more fun for, I feel like, kids to rip it open and just see it right away. Like, oh my gosh, it's an LOL doll. So if you have any like good suggestions on how to make this work, let me know. Because last year it was just like perfect square. So I don't know. Let me know. I just realized I'm not wearing my ring. I'm sure you guys think that all the time. You're like, why is she not wearing a ring? What's going on? Um, I just forget it all the time. Nothing crazy here. All right, moving on to the biggest things that they both asked for this year that I feel like kind of go hand in hand with each other. They're still super, super into Rainbow High dolls. That was really the biggest things that they both wanted this year. Um, and so we're just adding to the collection. That's what they call it is their collection. So we're just adding to it. We didn't have two of the originals, which I was surprised about. Um, last year, Eleanor or Ollie got a bunch of them, most of them, but we were missing two. So, um, Eleanor asked for Jade. She's this really cute green themed doll. She is, I think, a uh, makeup focus at Rainbow High. She's a makeup artist. She's really cute. Um, Amazon earlier in like July or August was having a big sale on their Rainbow High like original series ones or series one dolls. And so I got this for like next to no nothing. So um, we're adding Jade to the collection. And then the main ones that they asked for this year were the series three ones. So they are the new um, season of dolls and the ones that they're adding onto the shows. They watched the one on Netflix that was like season one and now they're on to the YouTube uh, channel that they both love, Ollie more than Eleanor, but 
really cute ones this year so first things first she asked for this one there were six of them this season and they both asked for three and totally different ones so it ended up working out perfectly and these dolls can get really pricey so I waited for them to have good sales at uh, Target they had their big October sale and so this is when I bought them all and saved quite a bit of money otherwise they get real pricey um, this is the first one this is Dario Rosalyn this was the main one that Eleanor asked for she is adorable she is rose themed She's pink hair. She's so, so cute. Um, I love her cute little purse. This year, or this season, or series, all of them have matte skin besides one of them. The first series had like highlighty, like frosty skin, but now they're all this really pretty, like creamy uh, matte skin. And um, she is beautiful. I love her little rose theme. She's adorable. She is music focused. And then she asked for the other one. Oh, right here. Then she asked for Gabriella Isley. Um, I think she's like the mean girl of the crew this year, but she is very, very pretty. I'm hoping for a nice character arc, nice redemption, because she's not very nice in the show. But we're hoping for we're hoping for good, good vibes from her, good behavioral lessons learned. Um, she is beautiful though. She's the only one in this series that has frosty highlighter skin, um, and she is a fashion major. And she's really beautiful and then she asked for emmy which this is the one that i'm most excited about because i think she is so cute if eleanor was a doll if i had to pick a rainbow high for eleanor of like her personality this would be her this is just like her style her vibes to me she's so cute emmy is i think the first um doll in the whole series that has a different face mold than all the other ones. I feel like all the other other ones will change like their skin tone, their eyes, and their makeup, but she has a bit more of a squared uh, face than the other ones. And I just think she's absolutely, absolutely adorable. She's so gosh darn cute. So that was her. And then the last Rainbow High doll, which I wasn't gonna do, it's actually, my brother's gonna give this to her instead because these were just stupid expensive. And I thought they were adorable, but I didn't think they were worth the price because they had a lot of quality control issues. But I found this one and she had no problems. It was the first one that I found that she looked perfect. And so I snagged it and I thought I can return it if I need to. But alas, she's getting it. It's the Slumber Party series from Rainbow High. These are exclusive to Walmart and they are hard to find. Eleanor asked for her and she is so freaking beautiful. I love her outfits. They are Tiffany's um, themed. I think all the different ones have kind of like a, a designer style theme. And she's uh, Tiffany's with like nods to breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn with some of her outfit pieces and her like little face mask or eye mask. Really cute. They come with a, a sleeping bag and a pillow and then of course an extra outfit. These dolls are like 50 bucks. They're really expensive. And like I said, they had a lot of quality control issues with their makeup and painting um, were all messed up. Everyone I had seen had messes or like messed up faces and stuff like that, but I found her and she wasn't. So I was like, okay. It's worth it. So I got her, um, but like I said, my brother's gonna give this to Eleanor. She's adorable. I think she's stunning. Just don't know. Still, I'm still on the fence if it's worth the price, but she'll be very excited. All right, moving on. So one of Eleanor's biggest asks this year, which is one that I didn't know how I felt about. I, we haven't, we've evaded these things as well, and they're the mini brands. Neither girl has been interested until Eleanor just like flipped a switch and this is all she's like watched on YouTube or mini brand unboxings. I just feel like they're so pricey for what you get. I just don't feel like they're worth the price at all in my opinion. But I may change my tone when we open them and it may just be too cute to resist. But if all else fails, they can easily use these with their dolls for like their foods and groceries so it's no big deal. And these were um, on a pretty good sale. I can't remember if I got these from Target or Amazon. I got them on sale during one of the sales and so she'll be really excited but that's one thing she's asked for a lot. The other thing that she's asked for and this is probably my gift that I'm most excited to give her because she's going to freak. She has literally not stopped asking for Shopkins since she turned two. I feel like that's when she started playing with them. She has loved Shopkins ever since. They are her most prized possession and every year I think I always show you some sort of Shopkin related gift because she loves them and asks for them every single year. She loves figures, she loves Shopkins, 
and they haven't really brought any new Shopkins out. They have the Real Little series, but they just kind of changed like one or two of the items, but everything else are duplicates, and she has pretty much all of them, and I just felt like it was a waste of money. But she's still been asking for them until this year when I stumbled upon this set um, during October during Target's big toy sale. I think this is a Target exclusive, but I may be wrong. But it's the Real Littles Metallic Mystery Micromart. This thing's huge. It has 50 Shopkins in it and then 50 like packaging for the Shopkins little set. Um, and they're all deluxe editions. So they have special painting. Some of them are metallic. Some are like shiny and gold and some of them just are like different painted she's gonna love it these are so gosh darn cute and i felt like the little pricey thing was just like 49 dollars. but like i said i got it during the big toy sale so it wasn't bad at all and she is going to flip when she sees this and sees how many shopkins are in there this is the gift that i'm most excited to give her and it's something that is just so silly but she's still obsessed with Shopkins, so I'm so excited for that present. All right, moving on. Um, her like, I hate to say educational gift, <laughs> um, but I got them both, tried to get them both like an educational thing as like I normally do. Hers isn't necessarily educational, but I feel like it's fun for playing um, with others. And I feel like you have a little bit of a strategy here, but it is a board game and it is Yeti and My Spaghetti. Now I know that this game was super, super popular and big um, a number of years back. And since then there has been more games that have come out, but she has just started like being obsessed with watching board game videos on YouTube. She loves watching families play board games. So this is the one that she's watched over and over again and has been her biggest ask this year. This is the original packaging. I got this on sale for like five bucks on Amazon and since then they've replaced it with a newer packaging. But I think this one's cute. He's like, hello, Yeti's yeah, like popping out of the package. So she's gonna love this. It's just an easy game, but I think she's gonna be super excited and it's a game we can all play together. So this is her little game item, educational <laughs> item. The other thing she asked for, um, which Ollie also asked for and always asked for are sketchbooks. Um, if you've ever seen any of my videos, my oldest is a huge, 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 um, just really into art, artist, drawing, coloring, painting, creating, and Eleanor's starting to try to follow in her footsteps. She loves to create and color and draw with her sister. So she asked for her own sketchbook again this year. I think she has had one before. Um, and this one is just a spiral one that I got off of Amazon for super inexpensive. And then I got this set of rings. So Eleanor's super, super into accessorizing. She loves wearing jewelry, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, going all out. She loves accessorizing and is showing up to school to show off her friends, her glammed, accessorized self. And so I found this set of rings on Amazon. It had really good ratings and reviews. They're just um, adjustable rings. They're super cute. They're just like fun little girly rings. I don't know, they're like little party dress up rings, but she's gonna love it. There's a ton in here and she's gonna be so excited. I think this was like 10 bucks or so and there's a ton of rings. So she's gonna love that. Next thing, um, I can't get back into the box, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, but she asked for a new night light. We had a new light for her that we got um, when we redid their room and it was a neon, LED neon light from Target, it was a butterfly one from the pink fort line, pillow fort line, um, and it was so cute and we loved it. And one of her kind of chores in the morning when she made her bed, she had to turn off her nightlight. But the way to turn it off was to pull the plug out and instead of pulling it by the base, um, she would pull it from the wire and so the wires ended up breaking. And so she's been asking for a new uh, nightlight and we've had ones that are like seasonal and stuff in there, but she's gonna want one after all of those go away. And so I just found this inexpensive one on Amazon. It's nothing too crazy. I really wish I could find a pillow fort one again because they were and they were great. Um, but this one's cute. She has this from the same brand. She has a Christmas tree one that works really well, but it's battery operated. It does have a USB outlet little port thing that I'm gonna use, I think, with a plug because I just feel like it's better and we're not going through like 25 batteries every six months or every three months. But I found this one. It is, like I said, I can't fit it back in yet. I have to figure that out. It is a butterfly one um, and I think it's pink and yellow. It's pretty good size. It's not as big as the pillow fort one from Target was, but it's decent. Um, it's cute. She's gonna be happy. I know she's gonna be excited just to have another 
another LED light back. They're inexpensive. I think it's like less than 10 bucks or something on Amazon. Nothing too crazy, something simple, but a gift that she is going to be excited about. So that is hers. And then we're getting down to the, the final ones. Um, she asked for a house for her Shopkins. She really wanted a Shopkins house, but all of the actual like Shopkins brand houses, um, you can't find anymore. They're not sold anymore. And if you find them, they're like ridiculously overpriced and very small. Um, and so I started looking into different options for her for houses that she can play her, with her Shopkins in, but also different things that she'd use like her little mini LOL dolls or her little other figures because she's a big in figures and things that she could probably play along with her sister. And so I came across this on Walmart. Oh my gosh. And it is the Honeybee Acres Busby Farmhouse. It's freaking huge. <laughs> Um, and this is the new line from Walmart. It's taken over Calico Critters. Um, if you're not in the States, I believe it was Scandinavian family line. Um, I don't know if Calico Critters are sold in the States anymore. Um, they may be sold on Amazon or elsewhere, but they're not sold at least in Walmart and Target has their other, their own line of them too. So I don't know what happened with that, but, um, Honeybee Acres is super cute. It's like a fun like farmhouse vibed one. It's a little bit more modernized than Calico Critters. And I saw this and thought this was perfect. It has a bunch of different rooms and accessories and I feel like it's perfect for her Shopkins if she wants to use it with that or her LOL dolls or the little fuzzy Calico Critter figures or Honeybee Acres figures. So this one comes with like a little grandpa bunny or dad bunny with the little girl bunny. Um, and a, of course the house with a bunch of the furniture inside of it. This was about $49 I think from Walmart. It's really big um, So I feel like it was a pretty good deal. It has good reviews online. It's really cute And then it opens up and closes so I feel like it's a perfect size and space and we can keep it on their dresser um, And along with them she asked for This set which is so cute. It's the honeybee acres uh, little Playground pals. They're just a bunch of the little figures the little kids. They're super super cute all the different animals I love the unicorn and the cow. They make me think of Cat and Jack, like Target. It looks like they're just wearing Cat and Jack clothes. I think they're so cute. They're bright, they're fun. They're a little less like country than the um, Calico Critters were. I just love them, a little modern. They're adorable. So this set is from Walmart as well. Um, I think my mom's giving her that actually. And then um, they have a bunch of little sets that you can buy to go inside the farmhouse as well, but they have been sold out and I can't get my hands on any of them. So if any of you guys have any tips and tricks on that, let me know or if you know when resocks are gonna happen because I wanna get those ones, I prefer those ones over the ones I picked. But to in case I can't, I found these sets from Target because Target has the little woodsies line. These really feel like are in between Calico Critters and the Honeybee Acres. They're less country than Calico Critters, but they're less modern than Honeybee Acres. They're bright, kind of like the farmhouse and Honeybee Acres, but they still have like the wood accents like Calico Critters. So I don't know. I like like them, but I don't. I feel like I'm just kind of like in between. But I got this set. This is the master bedroom and dining set. They're really inexpensive. This is like 10 bucks at uh, Target. I probably should have waited because I think that normally for Black Fridays, a lot of their little woodsy stuff goes on sale. But I can always price adjust because Target has uh, been doing that this year. Anyway, so I got this one set for her. And then I also picked up another one. This is the uh, bunk bed bedroom set. I'm hoping these all fit in there. I honestly, I don't know. I think they are in the same scale, but I'm not sure about if like a bunk bed will be, can fit in one of the rooms if it's too tall. And then lastly, I got this bathroom and laundry set. So cute, I think they're cute, they're fun. They're totally up Eleanor's alley. I just like the Honeybee Acre sets better. And I think they are actually are like a dollar cheaper. So if I can get my hands on those, I will. So let me know if you guys have any inside tricks. Anyway, um, and then I got, I don't know if this is gonna go in her stocking. So if you see this in her stocking too, it's okay. <laughs> but this is just like a little uh, surprise baby woodsy. Just, I don't know, I, it was an impulse buy. But it'll go there too. All right, I think that is it for Eleanor, which is kind of shocking. Um, I do have one more item 
that I got for both of them, but they each have their own. I got this from a brand that I never heard from, but I saw it on Instagram. I've got so many things from Instagram's ad suggestions. They made a bunch off of me this year. Um, and it is from, what is it called? Charm It is the store. And they make a bunch of charm bracelets or necklaces. Um, and they're so gosh darn cute. So I thought this was such a fun thing to get and then they can just add on throughout the years and every holiday and birthday and special occasion I can get them a charm. They weren't very expensive and I just thought they were so fun especially because both girls are at that age where they really enjoy like I said accessorizing and um, jewelry and just like getting dressed and just being more like individual. They really like it so I thought it'd be fun. So first things first I got them both this um, necklace. I decided to go with a necklace over bracelet just because I thought they're still young enough where bracelets get on their nerves that are not like st stuck pretty hard like you know like the stretchy ones. Um, so a necklace I feel like would just be a little bit easier. So I got this one. It's rainbow. It's really really cute and then so they each have the same necklace but I'll show you Eleanor's charms. They love going shopping at Claire's, it's their favorite store and so I feel like these kind of give Claire's vibes but I feel like they're just like better quality. The first one I got for her is this really adorable little ice cream one. The sprinkles inside move. It's really cute. She loves sweets and ice cream. And then she thinks poop is hilarious. She loves all the poop emojis and squishies and all of that. So I, <laughs> so I found a poop one that's a rainbow with a bow. And then she loves pizza. That's her favorite food. So I got this cute little pizza charm. And then lastly, she's super, super into outer space right now and wants to be an astronaut. And so I found this adorable rocket one, which I thought was so sweet. Trying to, there we go. Just so cute. They're nice size, they're not super small. And I feel like you can just really decorate alongside their adorable little um, necklaces and they have a ton of different variety and options and holidays they're so cute so I just loved them I thought they were so fun and just like a unique gift that I've never given the girls before so I got these like I said they're all from a, a store called charm it of course I will try to make sure I have everything linked below as usual um, hopefully everything is still in stock and you can get ev your, your hands on everything um, but yeah so let's move on to Ollie, shall we? All right, my camera died. I have now filmed this video like 25 times. My voice is going hoarse. We're making it through though, guys. I'm having a good time. It's just taking a long time. Anyway, so we're moving on to Olive now. Um, I'm gonna start with her jammies. So I got her a similar set to Eleanor from Kohl's. They are tie-dye and really cute on camera. They're being washed out. They're way more vivid and fun in person, but I got her this little set. And then Mama Alia here on YouTube uh, sent me this on Instagram and I immediately went and got it. This is something that my mom's gonna give Olive and it's a rainbow high little nighty. It's fleece and it has a little hood super cute she's gonna love it and then her last one is also the rudolph little nightgown hers is giant <laughs> it's gonna be huge but really cute as well all right so all of his main things that she asked for this year were rainbow high and then art she was really wanting a whole lot of art and i feel like even though she loves rainbow high and she plays with them a lot she gets more enjoyment and joy from art she loves creating so most of her stuff is art focused and centered and i hope i give you some good ideas because i feel like she's in like that awkward phase where she's not quite a tween she's still a little girl but she's also not like a young kid anymore she's not a toddler anymore she's not like a young young little girl um and so she's like her interests are um just changing so I hope I can give you some good ideas because I was really excited for her stuff this year all right so first things first we're gonna start with the rainbow high dolls that she asked for she also asked for um, one that we hadn't already had from season one we have this doll but in the cheerleader version not in the regular original form because of course we need them all um, this is Skylar Bradshaw she's really cute again I got her during the Amazon sale where these were like 10 bucks or something super cheap um, so we now have her to add to the collection I'm hoping that with all these dolls since we have so many of them 
that they are able to keep them for many, many years and then pass them down to their kids. That is something that I did to, with them is I have a bunch of dolls that they were able to use and still use and play with all the time and accessories. And it brings me so much joy and it makes me feel like Toy Story. So I want that for them so much. And I hope that they are able to keep these dolls in really great condition and just hold on to them and pass them down to their little ones. Next thing we have, one we have is Cheryl Meyer. She is supposed to be like Cher from um, Clueless. She is wearing very similar outfit. Um, and also this one's also super similar as well. Really cute, really just like adorable, super popular one this year. I think for all like all the 90s trends going around, I really like her. She is a textile design focus. Um, and she's really pretty. It ended up working out well because these are all the series three ones and each of them asked for three um, ones and Eleanor asked for three of different ones and Ollie asked for three different ones so it ended up being perfect and no one was fighting over the same one. So um, next we have Gabrielle or no Daphne Minton goodness gracious they all have the same names to me in my head I'm just they're all just mixing anyway Daphne Minton she's beautiful she's a mint obviously colored themed one um she has beautiful makeup I just think she's stunning I love her little freckles she's super super cute and she is a accessory design focus which I didn't know was a thing but I like that so she's really cute and then lastly this is one of my other favorites is Georgia Bloom she is so gosh darn cute she's like peachy and um just has like a bunch of peach accents I love her color palette she is so gosh darn cute and she is a performance focused um girl in Rainbow High. Oh, besides one, um, this is the other on the series that Ollie asked for. So Eleanor asked for um, Robin, and then Ollie asked for Brianna. Um, I don't know her last name, but she has been so freaking hard to get my hands on. But luckily, um, my brother was able to, and he's giving them to them anyway. And so she um, is going to Ollie. This is the one that she wanted. Like I said, they each have like a designer theme. So she's Tiffany's. I believe she is Versace and she has a lot of like Juicy Couture type of design and style. Both really, really cute. All three of them are really cute. I've never seen her in person. I She's like the hardest one to find. Um, but both of these are beautiful and super cute. Again, they're pricey, so I don't know if they're worth the price, but that's what they wanted. So just expanding the collection. So those are all the Rainbow High dolls that Ollie asked for and honestly, it's shocking to me, but that those are all the toys that I got her. Um, I'm having that realization right now and I'm feeling a little emotional about it. Those are the only ones that she asked for and all she wanted. So those are the ones she got, but I'm like feeling emotional because I didn't realize that very few things were toys for her. She's growing up. Anyway. Okay, moving on. So her book slash ed educational item, which I could have sworn I ordered Eleanor a book too, but I can't find it and I don't know what it was. So we're saying Yeti and My Spaghetti is her educational item. For Ollie, I got her a bunch of easy reader books. She is super into reading right now. She's really, really enjoying it. And I love seeing her get into reading. And I just hope and pray that both my girls love reading as much as I do, because it's something I want to share with them. I love to read and I'm such a big reader. And I want, I just pray that they enjoy it too. I think it's such a fun escape. Um, Anyway, so I bought her a bunch of books, some easy reading books. Um, the first three are all from the Uni the Unicorn series. We love this series. We have the main uh, original story, and since then they have come out with a bunch of different little side stories. They're so cute. So we have Uni the Unicorn, Uni's for a sleepover, Uni goes to school, and then Uni bakes a cake. So all really cute. These are all really inexpensive on Amazon. They're, like I said, just easy readers. She'll like breeze right through these. Um, I love the illustrations. They're so pretty and so fun. And so if you have a unicorn lover in your life, these are perfect for them. And then also on the unicorn trend, I got this unicorn wings one. I just thought this was really pretty. It makes me think of the 90s. <laughs> It just looks like 90s vibed illustrations and it's totally up Ollie's alley. Like, I mean, doesn't this scream 90s to you? It screams 90s to me. Um, I just thought it was cute and something that she would enjoy. So I don't know, man, 90s just screams it to me. So I got this one for her as well. 
So those are her books that she can add to her collection. Um, like I said, her biggest asks for this year were art stuff. And so um, some things were very specific and some things she just said, I just want art things. So I found this clay kit. Um, I originally got a klutz book, which I was really, really excited about. You guys had recommended them in my last gift guide. Um, and I looked into them and I wanted a very specific one. And um, I was able to, I think there was like one left and I waited forever for it to finally arrive. And it ended up being like used and it had like hair in it and things were ripped open. And I was so disappointed because I was so excited for it. But then I randomly stumbled upon this kit and I feel like it's a little bit better. It was cheaper and I feel like there's just more to it than that one. Um, and it is another air dry kit like the Klutz book I originally had and it's sweets and desserts. So I wanted this sweets and desserts set from Klutz. I just thought it just, it was just so ollie um, and so I was so disappointed when I had to take it back but I found this one and I feel like it's a really 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 good option for her now too. It's ages six plus so it's totally in her age range and they can just make a bunch of different air dry clay desserts. So there's like little donuts and cakes and parfaits and macarons and pies. It is so cute. It gives me like very like kawaii kind of style. Her best friend at school is super super into kawaii and um, I know Ollie's starting to branch in it too and so it just gives me like kawaii like doodles vibes with all like the cute little eyes and little cheekies and smiles so I feel like this is something really fun that she can make and share with her best friend if she likes um, and it comes with um, like I mean like everything that she will need it comes with like the instructional guide all of the air dry kit clay like a ton of colors the tools and roller there's a bunch of cardboard cutouts to like create the whole like bakery scene um glitter and then a bunch of like paint and glue and fake sprinkles and all that type of stuff so she will have plenty to make and do and i know she's going to love this and it'll be something fun for her sister to do as well i loved this kit like i said i got it off of amazon and i think she's going to be really excited for it all right so um, I also picked up this light for her, just like Eleanor. Um, she's wanted a light to go above her bed, but she's on the top bunk and there was just, it wasn't a long enough thing for her outlet. And so um, we found, I just decided to settle on some LED strip lights because what other kid does not have these or teenagers? I feel like this is like such a good gift if you have a tween or teen in your life that doesn't already have these. They're so fun and are so popular right now and really inexpensive. So I got her a set of these that we're just going to put on the perimeter, uh, the back of her um, bunk bed. And so her whole back of her bunk bed lights up and she can change the colors um, and do whatever she likes with that. I feel like this is gonna be really fun for her and a totally up her alley. They have a ton of these all on Amazon. So if you're looking for one, they have so many options and varieties and lengths and sizes and colors and all that type of stuff. This one was inexpensive and had good reviews. So she's gonna open this and be like, cool, what is this? But then when we explain that it's gonna be like a lighting setup like her dad's gaming setup is, because he has specific lightings that she's going to be really excited. So this is her little light. Um, okay, the other thing that I got for her um, this isn't one that she specifically asked for, but I feel like it's going to be one that she really, really likes as well. And I got these at Walmart. First things first is this giant thing of beads. Um, like I said, these were all from Walmart. They're from the Go Create line. I got these in store, but I do believe you can get them online. Tons of different colors of beads. This is definitely an activity that we will be doing together or in adult supervision because... I feel like this can go bad real quick with beads everywhere. So um, we will be doing that together, but I know she's gonna really like it. And then I got her some elastic cord, different color elastic cord for her to use with it, and then a bunch of different bead packs. So we have these pastel uh, style stars, these black and white alphabet beads, these rainbow alphabet beads, and then, I don't know if you can see them, the light's probably washing them out. And then these uh, sparkle shape beads. I just thought these were really fun. Um, again, this isn't something she specifically asked for, but I feel like it is something she's gonna be really excited about when she opens it. I'm just gonna all put it in a big box, put it together. So, 
like I said, those are pretty inexpensive. All of them were from Walmart and I'm excited. They all look nice quality. I like the case. It seems good. Um, the main thing she asked for outside of the Rainbow High dolls was um, she wanted, like I said, art stuff. So wait, first things first is I got her also a sketchbook just like Eleanor because she always asks for sketchbooks. And then I also got her a paint pad. These have uh, durable thick pages for painting and watercolors. This is from Michaels. And then I got her the main thing she had. The main thing she asked for were canvases. She wanted to paint canvases. So I got her a bunch of different canvases. I have another pack, but I honestly don't know where they are. They're eight by 10 um, and they come in a bunch of packs. These were from Walmart. Um, they're inexpensive and she really, really wanted to paint on canvas. So I got her a bunch of uh, little canvases and then she also asked for new paint. So this is acrylic paints. These are not washable. We are going to experiment and hope for the best with these. Um, she's old enough now, I think it'll be fine. Um, but I feel like my controlling, like hovering mom mode comes out and I'm like, no, no, don't make a mess. And I just need to let that go. Um, so these are safe and non-toxic. They're neon metallic glitter and glow in the dark. I think they're gonna be really fun. Um, they had a bunch of different varieties and packs. Um, and these are from Walmart. Like I said, these are from the hobby or hello hobby line. Um, they were not super, super inexpensive, but they weren't like incredibly expensive paints. Um, and there, there's quite a variety and a lot of paint. So I think she's gonna be really excited. This was like, <laughs> these two things besides the rainbow high dolls were the two things that she asked for was paint and canvases. And she's like, mom, if I'm going to be the best artist, that I can be. I need to practice. That's what you always tell me. And to practice, I need supplies. So she's not wrong, but she just like breathes through her supplies so fast. So that is that set. And then I also got her a pack of new brushes. These are also from the Hello Hobby line from Walmart. And they're just like some purpley blue type of brushes that I think are just going to be totally up our alley. So um, I just think these are good options if you have a kiddo who's into art and crafts but you don't really know what to get and you don't want like all of the same kind of not gimmicky kits but like just the same type of gift kits. These I feel like are a fun way to, you know, just like get an art bag, an art kit. So there's that. Um, the next thing she asked for was some more makeup. I love getting my girls makeup. I know it's kind of controversial here on YouTube, um, but I have a huge passion for makeup. It's one of my very favorite things. And I know that Ollie sees the artistic value in it as well. And so I want them to be able to like, express themselves in that way if that's what they like to do. And so I let them play with it and have a good time. They obviously don't like wear it to school or anything, but for at home and just like running around town, I don't care. So first things first, is um, she has a new little makeup carrying case. Um, she used to have a Disney vanity that has finally met its maker. It has been, it is, it looked rough. It was time to go. It was broken and just like falling apart. So we got this caboodle for her. This is actually something my mom's gonna give to her. Super adorable, just pink um, and purple caboodle. I love caboodle. I have mine that I use all the time still um, that I got a couple years back because I always wanted one when I was a kid and I finally let my dream come true when I was a grown woman with two children. <laughs> but I got her one because I feel like it's perfect time for her to get one and so there's like a big space in the bottom obviously, lots of storage space, a nice big mirror and then like this little tray she could take out and move around. It smells like Foot Locker and I know that sounds like the grossest thing in the world or like just for feet or something. I'm gonna say Foot Locker. That like styrofoamy, like, I don't know, man, like shoe smell. It smells so good. It makes me think of the 90s. Anyway, this was from Target. They have a bunch of colors, obviously, and I'm really excited for that. Uh, another thing, she needed a new eyeshadow palette. She has used up hers, and so I got this one from Amazon. This just screamed Ollie to me. It's called Cloudy with a Chance of Sprinkles. So cute. And it has a big mirror as well, and then a bunch of different colors. There is glitter, shimmers, pressed glitters, mattes, metallics, and these like little beady ones that makes me think of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is so fun and so pretty and totally up her alley. So um, I got her this one. 
and I think it's so cute. It's probably too big to actually fit in her uh, case, but that's that's okay. Um, and then she needed a new set of makeup brushes, so I just got these cute ones from um, Target. I probably could have got a set on Amazon for cheaper or just more for a better bang for your buck, but I just saw these really cute. The More Than Magic line, it comes with a brush roll, a brush bag, and then four little brushes. Um, the handles all have like movable um, little sprinkles in them, so I thought that these went together quite well, um, and I just thought this was really cute. So I got her new set of brushes. And then, um, this is kind of a random gift, but Ollie does all of her art in the bathroom because we have very limited space and all of her art supplies are kept underneath the bathroom sink and in our like bathroom cabinet area in their bathroom. And so, um, instead of taking them to the table, like she does not like to work at a table. Like she, it's not her favorite thing. She likes to be able to work on the floor. And so, um, I just wanted to get her something that was a little bit more sanitary and a little bit more um, just like stable. And so I found this little tray. I took forever to find the tray that I wanted because I'd pick a tray and then I'd go to read the reviews and they were terrible. And so it took me so long, but I finally just got something basic. If this is something she really, really ends up utilizing and liking, I feel like it's something we can move on from and buying like a full wood tray or something from like a small shop or something. Um, but I got her this one from Michael's. It was only like seven bucks. It's just a basic like little lap tray, nothing super fancy, nothing super exciting, but I think it will be like a fun gift for her and something she's really going to value and really use a lot of. It has like a cup holder, but I think she'll probably use this for her pencils and then like just extra extra storage this is perfect for her drawing her painting her bead work her clay i mean she's gonna use this for anything and everything it comes in a bunch of different colors like i said i got these from or got this from michael's and um i think she's gonna really like it wasn't anything super exciting but i think she's gonna really like it and i think i'm gonna put that in like a big santa cellophane kind of stack to go underneath the tree because otherwise I don't know how that's how that's going to be wrapped. So that's my only other option with that. All right, we're coming up on the end, guys. Um, so this next gift is something that my mom's actually giving her, but Ollie has been wanting a better set of just markers because Crayola is no longer cutting it. Um, and she's been interested in alcohol based markers. And so as you if you have, know anything about that type of stuff, it can get so expensive. Um, but Amazon has a lot of really good budget friendly options that aren't obviously like super, super professional ones, but um, definitely will fit the bill for my seven year old. So we found um, this set on Amazon. I do believe this was under $30 or may have been $30, um, but it comes with a bunch of different markers okay so it comes with um a set of markers that one side is like broad tip and then one side is um fine tip these aren't like brush tips um but i think these will work best for her age group at least for now um and they're really great for like blending and creating different like mixing colors together and really she loves doing ombre stuff so this is really will help her with that um and she has really been really interested and it's not here hasn't come in yet into like calligraphy and cursive um she wants to learn how to write in kind of like those font styles um and so we got her a calligraphy book for kids which i will have a picture of it's from amazon i think it's around like five dollars um, it has really good reviews. It's really really cute and it's something she's gonna be so pumped up for so I figured that especially at least for like the um, broad Tips will be really good for that and the other ones she can use to draw create and blend together So again, like if you have a little one or a kid or whomever who's getting interested into like, drawing and um coloring these are really good options without like breaking the bank and then you can like upgrade from here but there's a bunch of different colors a bunch of different varieties and i think she's going to be really excited when she's able to get her hands on these and um they kept in these like kind of like hard case with the wrap so hopefully hopefully she keeps them in here um but that is her almost last gift i forgot i have her charm it thing too so for hers um, I also, she has the same rainbow necklace and then she has this really cute boba um, drink and it has like little boba beads that move in it 
and then she is super into gymnastics if you guys have seen any of my recent videos she's obsessed with gymnastics so i got her a little gymnastics charm um i got her butterflies she loves butterflies and this one was so pretty and pastel looks just like ollie to me and then lastly as you guys know she's obsessed with art so i got her this adorable little paint art palette which i just thought was so cute so those are her charmits um i love these i think they're so cute and i can't wait to add to their collection and i hope they like them so okay guys that is it last thing is what they're hoping that santa puts under the tree for them um last year if you guys watched my video you would have known that they got a um dollhouse from santa it was a 360 um dollhouse that was on wheels um it was really nice we loved it it was from kid craft we really really liked it but um i didn't do correct measuring when we got it i was hoping that it was something we could kind of like wheel away and out of the way um and it was way bigger than i thought it was going to be and so it was just taking up way too much space in their room um, and they were the only place we could put it was kind of like in this awkward area and Ollie would be getting down from her bunk bed and sometimes would fall and like fall into the dollhouse and so it was just getting unsafe and so instead we decided to sell it and um, the girls are asking this is the main thing that they both are really 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 hoping Santa brings is the new rainbow high dorm now that is a big house but it is tall i don't think it is not is not nearly as wide and so far we've been i've measured so if santa decides that he does want to bring that to for them it can safely go into a very easy safe location in their room and i feel like it's just going to get better utilized they really liked that doll dollhouse i thought it was i thought it was beautiful i loved the furniture that came with it it was like modern mid-century so cute but I think that it wasn't utilized the way I want it to. They never pulled it out and tried to like turn it around. They would just like fight over the same space um, and not try to move it and maneuver it because I think it was just harder for them, them to do than I anticipated it to be. And again, it was just way too big. So I don't think that dollhouse was bad by any means. I think it's perfect if you are a grandma or you have lots of kids um and have a big enough space to really keep it in the open so they can just ro rotate it as they want to um but for us it just wasn't the right dollhouse for us so we are still on the hunch but as of right now the girls are really really hoping for that rainbow high dorm so that is their last item on their wish list and the biggest one i would say but that is what they're both hoping to get from santa and share now that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching um i hope that this video led up to your expectations um you guys have been asking and so excited about it i hope i gave you a lot of different variety of gifts i'm really excited with um how everything came out this year and i know that the girls are really really gonna love them definitely stay tuned because their stocking stuff for video is coming up really soon and i'm very excited about that one i got a lot of really cute things that i think they are gonna love as well and a lot of great ideas to share with you guys and i will also be making separate videos of course for my husband's gift guide what i'm getting him for christmas and his stocking so if you are needing some gift gift ideas for the men in your life definitely keep an eye out for those videos and that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that you are enjoying the holiday season as much as i am and you guys are feeling loved that you are feeling safe that you are feeling at peace and joy and i think about you guys and i pray about you guys all the time and i am so glad you're here and i hope you have a magical and wonderful holiday season filled with so much love and family and friends and i am always here for you guys so definitely keep an eye out for my next video guys and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye guys